I'm Jim Allison. I'm Safi Bacall, and this is South by Southwest. Big breakthroughs, the breakthroughs that change the course of science, business, or history rarely arrive with blaring trumpets or red carpets and dazzling everybody with their brilliance. They're usually dismissed for years or sometimes decades, and they're champions written off as nuts. So when we talk about Jim Allison, that is an, almost an ideal textbook example of a loon shot, the small, crazy ideas that were neglected, not, e not just for months or years, but sometimes for decades. People can tell you uh, that what you're doing is crazy, you know. How can you treat cancer by not treating the cancer? You're treating the immune system, you know. That was just so radical when we started with this work that they said, you know, it's not gonna work, or it works in mice, it's not ever gonna work in humans, and, you know, but, you know, I was, I was sure it was. And I remember just 15 years ago, if you went to a cancer conference and you stood up to give a talk about cancer immunotherapy, about getting the body's immune system to fight tumors, I kid you not, the room would clear out. People would be like, they'd be rolling their eyes, making like You know, people tried that for 10 years, 20 years, and failed. And Jim Allison came up with uh, a brilliant new twist on how to do that, and it worked. I've been, I've been fascinated with these things called T cells, which are white blood cells that go all over your body and look for things that ought not to be there and deal with them. And, and, you know, maybe if we really learned enough about how they worked, we could unleash your own body's immune system to attack cancer cells. You know, the immune system isn't working so well against cancer as this built-in break to keep your immune system from hurting you would stop the response before it had time to eliminate a big cancer mass. And so we developed a way to disable the breaks. Sure enough, the tumors in mice just disappear. And it took a while to convince people to do it, but uh, uh, one of the reasons I was excited about it is because with immunotherapy, once you alert the immune system to the presence of the cancer, there are these things called T cells that are with you for the rest of your life. And uh, if you can get rid of the tumor initially, then they will be there. If the tumor comes back, they can, you know, deal with it. And so it gives it the possibility of, you know, being curative. They took something which had been essentially a loon shot for close to a century, and they brought it into the end zone. Well, this, when we found out the way to take the, the breaks off the immune system, it opened a whole new way of doing cancer research. and. and it, because it is curative. So for the first time, you know, we can start thinking about universal, uh, I mean, not completely universal, but at least broad application of, of these things to different kinds of cancer to get decades long responses. So imagine forward another 10 years, and imagine another 10 years, imagine 50 years. I think cancer will be a completely different disease, and my hope is that we'll we will have changed it from a fatal condition to a chronic condition, something that you can live with and is not a big deal. When I was being presented the Nobel Prize, it's, it's kind of hard to describe, it's just a rush of memories, you know, I don't know, it's almost like some weird movie when everything's running at, you know, light speed, all the events that, you know, had happened before. But I think one of the main things was just gratitude that I'd been able to do something that in part, my mom's memory that that, uh, that was helping people. One of the things that I mean, the Nobel Prize is the Nobel Prize, but what really uh, I prize is the people that I run into on the streets now that come up and say, you know, my, you, I, you, I'm a benefactor of, of, of your drug. My sister, my brother, my cousin, and just knowing that uh, you know that I did a little bit to you know improve people's lives. And, I'm Lauren Mayberry. I'm Chana. I'm Dan Rather. I'm Amber Ruffin, and this is South by Southwest. <laughs>